Hello, Scorpio viewers. Going to look into your situation. So this could be love, money, career, just whatever the cards want to say. Could be an old person, a new person. We'll just see what comes out here. Please bear with my camera. It just takes a minute to adjust as I pull the cards. Reconciliation is the first card we got. Codependency, addiction, trapped, blocked, and tied up. Anger and miscommunication. Mutual feelings, emotional depth. Okay. X the past. Okay, spot someone from your past. Stagnation and complacency. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other better. Overthinking, overanalyzing, and self-sabotaging. And we have sadness. Okay, so I don't know if this is past or current energy, but the story here is... And somebody wants to reconcile. I feel like it's like a very passionate but very hot, cold relationship. Like it's like you guys are never quite on the same page. It's kind of chaotic, it feels like. So it's like there's some kind of codependency between you two. But it seems like there's something that happened that's keeping someone trapped. Like anger, miscommunication. Like this person either betrayed you or you betrayed them. There could have been cheating involved. Or there's something, maybe something that was said, like an argument some harsh words that were said, something, something that someone's holding on to because it's like, it's so passionate and codependent and this person wants to reconcile, but it's like, I feel like there was like a betrayal here or something like trapped, blocked, tied up, like, and then we have anger and miscommunication where it's like, you guys were miscommunication, you guys were miscommunicating or someone here was angry about something, um, and it's kind of keeping this relationship. It's like you can't move forward. Like you guys are trying to both move this relationship forward. But there's something. There's like a communication issue. Or there's something from the past that one or both of you is holding on to. And it's stopping you from moving forward. Even though th there are mutual feelings here. This could be also about like an ex. There could be like, you know, like maybe this person went back to an ex. Or you went back to an ex. And now you're trying to be together. But like someone, someone's trust is broken. Whether this is yours or theirs. And that's, that's what's stopping this relationship from moving forward is what I'm feeling. I feel like someone for a while was stagnant and complacent. And then someone else here was like, like, it's like you were trying to pull them in and take it slow and bring them back in and get them out of the stagnant energy. But they kept overthinking and sabotaging it. Like they didn't let you back in. They didn't open up to this again. Um, there's like some kind of sadness here, some kind of pain for some, this already happened for some, it's like, it's like kind of explaining things. It's like telling your story where it's like, you guys did reconcile, but then there was an issue from the past. Like maybe you're regarding like a third party or some kind of, some kind of argument or something that someone's holding a grudge. It could be, it could be cheating. It could be a betrayal. Like I said, it could also be like an argument, like something really harsh was said that this person, someone just hasn't let go of that. No, this could be them. Like you, they might have this resentment that they that they are they don't know how to address it, so they're just kind of sweeping it under the rug and suppressing it. This could also be you. This could be that they betrayed you, and you miss them and you love them and you want to move the connection forward, but you're still very angry at them, and so that anger is kind of causing blocks. And I don't want to say that because it's like okay, because it's like you have every right to be angry. If this person betrayed you, you have every right to be angry. But I think more like. Like, I don't want to say the anger is causing blocks because you have the right to be angry. Like, you should feel whatever you feel. But I think it's more like an energy of, like, you got to make a decision. You know what I mean? Like, if this person cheated on you and betrayed you or did, you know, did whatever, chose a third party or did this or that, like, you, it, it totally makes sense that you might want to move on, that you might be done with this. But I think it's kind of like you're in limbo. So your spirit guys are kind of saying, like, dude, like, like, they don't know what you want, you know? Like, your spirit guides are kind of like, okay, do you hate this person or do you love them? Like, 
a little confused here. Do you want this person back or do you want to move on and do you want us to bring you someone new? I feel like some of you are kind of confusing your spirit guys because, you know, there's mutual, sorry, there's mutual feelings here. You guys love this person, but there's, there's anger that, or miscommunication or some kind of incident that happened between you two or some kind of betrayal that someone here is holding on to. So it's kind of confusing your spirit guys because they're like, okay, like we understand this person betrayed you. Like you can have more, you can have someone that's loyal you can have someone that's different. But you have to make that decision right now. You're kind of going in circles. You're on this merry-go-round. You're kind of in limbo right now where you're just you're just going back and forth between love and hate, between screw them, they betrayed me, I'm shutting my heart down, I don't ever want to let them in again, and, you know, I love them, I still want to work through this, I want to give this another chance, my trust is broken, but I do want to rebuild. And this could be them thinking this. It could be them or you or both of you even. Maybe you both hurt each other. Maybe you both betrayed each other. But basically just get out of limbo. It's kind of like, you you know, you're in, st you're in stagnant energy right now. You know, you're stagnant. You got to make a decision. You want to let this person go or do you want to work through these issues and see if you can rebuild here? But you got to stop going back and forth or you're going to drive yourself crazy and you're you're kind of driving your spirit guides crazy and, and kind of confusing them right now, to be honest. They're, they're really like, they don't know what you want. Your energy is all over the place with this person. You're angry one minute and then the next minute you're in love. You're, you're done with them one minute and then the next day you're like, wait, I want them back actually. Like, so your, your spirit guides are like, what do we do? Because <laughs> they're listening to you. Like you have free will. You know what I mean? Like they're listening to you when you pray, but you gotta, you gotta kind of, you gotta be clear and direct with them and stick to something, you know, either let this person go and be done and move on and manifest somebody new and better or, you know, work through this, try to get past this with this person and commit to this person. But if you're holding on to hatred and resentment for this person, it's it's like some of you want to punish this person for something they did to you. Like they cheated or something and you want to punish them. And your feelings are valid. I'm not saying that you're not that your feelings are not valid, but I'm just saying that this like or like I said, it could be also they're trying to punish you for something. They're trying to hurt you because you hurt them. It's like someone was really hurt here. Someone felt really betrayed. Someone's trust was broken is basically the energy I get, whether it's yours, theirs, or both of yours. But like I said, you guys kind of have to make a decision to either let go of this or move on because you're just, you're both keeping each other stuck. You're both stagnant right now because of this. Um... And it's like, if they cheated on you, and like I said, if you can't forgive them, that's fine. You can totally let this go and move on to somebody else. But what's not going to work is for you to hold on to them and punish them and be angry about them cheating on you um, while simultaneously trying to move forward. It's like, you're either moving forward and leaving the past behind and fixing these issues together, or you're not. You know what I mean? Like, like you can't. If this person is trying to change for you, you can't keep throwing the past in their face. Like if you guys are having these discussions and you're like, you're trying to trust them to be loyal to you again, and you can't be like, remember that one time you cheated a year ago and like keep bringing that up. You know what I mean? Because then it's like they're, they're not able to, you guys aren't able to move forward as a couple, you know? Um, this needs, whatever this is, this needs to be cleared up. You guys got to go in one direction or another. If you're going to hold on to resentments, it's just not going to work because you guys are going to start moving forward and you're going to come right back to the past. Like someone's just holding on to the past too much. And, um, and like I said, I'm not judging you. Like I said, if you cheated, you know, like I don't think I would tolerate being cheated on. I think I would probably leave someone that cheated on me. So I understand that. But it's totally, it's totally fine to leave them. It's just, it's, it's just that you're not leaving. It's like you're still holding on, but letting go at the same time it's just such a mixed energy it's just it's chaotic it's all over the place so it's kind of like you gotta you gotta make this decision you gotta make up your mind so that both of you can get out of this stagnant energy it's almost like it's almost like someone here is trying to like take it slow and work through this and then someone else is like overthinking things and over analyzing and then sabotaging and it's like you guys are hurting each other or like you're hurting them or they're hurting you. So it's just kind of this energy of like, you know, choose a direction. You know, it's really time to choose a direction. It's time to get out of limbo. It's really important. I 
I know you guys are not going to want to hear this message. No one ever likes these messages. Don't shoot the messenger. Sorry. But I mean, your spirit guides aren't telling you, your spirit guides aren't like, I don't feel like they're telling you this to like shame you and be like, oh, how dare you be mad at them? And no, it's not like that. It's more like your spirit guides are like saying like, hey, like, what do you want? Like, do you hate this person or do you love them? Like, do you want them back or do you want to let them go? Like, your spirit guides just want to know what you want. They want you to sit down and do the shadow work and really decide if you can forgive this person, if you can move forward with this person, or if you want somebody new. And it's up to you. It's your choice. Do you want to be with this person or do you want somebody else? Your spirit guides just don't know what to do. It's like your spirit guides are just kind of frozen too because it's like one minute, like I said, one minute you're saying you hate them and the next minute you're like, I love them. Like they hurt me, but but, you know, I want to see if we can work through it. So it's like your spirit guides don't know whether to bring you someone new or work through with this person. They're just kind of like, they're like, what do we do? Like, you know, like they don't, they don't understand what direction you're going because your energy is all over the place with this person. And like I said, they're not blaming you for that. You know, it makes sense if someone betrays you, there's a lot of mixed emotions. It hurts, but they just want you to get out of the stagnant energy. They want you out of limbo phase. They want you to make a decision finally one way or another so that they can give you what you want. They can't give you what you want if you're telling them something different every other day. If, you, if you're giving them, if you're sending out this mixed energy to the universe, I love them, I hate them, I'm done with them, I want them back. They, they have no idea what to do. So your spirit guides are not even able to help you right now. Your spirit guides are pretty much just watching you and they're just confused and they're just waiting for guidance. They're waiting for you to give them a clear direction, you know? Um, like they really just don't know what to do. You know, things are not going to go back to how they used to be. If this person cheated on you, it's like you're, you're, you, you're not going to go back to being 100% vulnerable with them. I feel like you guys could get to a better place where you love each other. But I mean, it's always going to be in the back of your head. Like, are they going to do that again? You know what I mean? It's like you can't really forget something that extreme. Um, but I mean, you guys could get to a much better place than you're at now. I don't know if you could. Some of you have to stop holding on to the past. It's like, and I, I know it hurts. I know it's hard. It's It's so incredibly painful. Like, I get it. It's hard when you love someone so much. And they cheat on you or betray you. It's like you just want to go back to how you felt before they did that. Before they hurt you. Before they chose that person over you. Before they betrayed you. It's like you just want to go back to like feeling that way about them. To trusting them. You want to be able to be vulnerable with them again. Um, and I think your spirit guides are kind of saying it's harsh and it's painful. I know. But you're never going to get back to that point. You can get to a really good place with them. But you know that vulnerability was in like a very innocent phase of the connection. You know what I mean? Like you hadn't seen their true colors yet. You hadn't, they hadn't betrayed you yet. You know what I mean? And it's like, you can't unsee that. You can't pretend like that didn't happen. You know what I mean? Um, but I mean, the trust can be rebuilt to a degree. I just feel like some part of you would always wonder if, if they're going to do that again. Um, I just, yeah, I just feel like you got to make a decision. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck to each other, but it's like, like the relationship's not really going anywhere. It's like five steps forward, ten steps backwards. So it's like you guys are just going back to square one. You're never really getting anywhere with this connection. So you really have to be honest with yourself and ask yourself if you can really forgive and move past this. And it's possible that you can't. It's possible that you cannot move past this and that you do just need someone else you know the choice is yours your spirit guides aren't even pushing I don't feel like they're even pushing you towards one direction I mean some of them do want someone new for you but I feel like they're they're leaving it up to you they just want you to decide though they want you to think about it and be honest with yourself and do the shadow work and be really vulnerable and honest and decide and don't hold on to the past don't don't Try to go back to the past. Don't try to get things back to how they used to be because it's like you're not going that direction anymore. You go, you know, um, like I said, you could get to a better point than you're at now. You guys could get to a good point, but I don't feel like that trust is ever going to be fully 100% there if someone really betrayed you like that. You know what I mean? What else do they want you to know? Happiness, warmth, and light, waiting, hoping, praying. 
missive, weak willed. It's like you both miss the past. You both miss how things used to be, but it's kind of like a power struggle now. It's like deep down you both want to get to that point, but there was some kind of toxicity that got in the way here. Someone's toxicity got in the way. Make your move, green light. It's going to take willpower and strength and confidence to go one direction or another. Some of you need to have an honest heart to heart talk. Choose, choosing your words wisely, planning your approach, being vulnerable. Using your intuition too. Don't listen. Don't let me make this decision for you. Don't let anybody make this decision for you. This is your decision. You know what I mean? Like this is like this is up to you. You got to get really raw and really honest with yourself here. And like I said, you your spirit guides could intuitively lead you to a new person where you could be more vulnerable with them. Might be some fears and mental instabilities here, confusion, yeah. Truth and clarity. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Someone might try to blame cheating on their mental illness. Don't let them do that. Apology, regret, hesitation, mixed feelings. Spying. Yeah, if you choose someone else, this person will probably spy on you and try to come back around and apologize. Um, they try to have a new perspective, but it's like... It's about you. It's not about them. It's about what... If you can trust them, if you can get past this, you know what I mean? It's not about what they want. It's not about them. It's about you. It's about what you want. You need to put yourself first. You need to sit there and and do the journaling, do the shadow work, really. I just feel like you've been busy or you've been, like, sweeping it under the rug. Like, you kind of, like, like, I just feel like you're hurt and you want to go back to how things were before this person betrayed you. Is kind of the energy I get. And it's like your spirit guides want you to understand you can't really go back. You can get to a good place with them, but you can't go back to how it used to be. And it's almost like you're getting frustrated because you know you can't go back. It's like you still have this resentment. You still have this anger and this shock. Like It's like a tower moment. This betrayal hurt you so much. Um, so they just want you to be honest with yourself about whether you can really move forward from this or not. And they want you to make that decision so they can bring you what you want in your life. Um, yeah. Anyway, like I said, if this is your reading, please email me. I can give you a private reading. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. Email is below in the description box right below this video. Any donations are appreciated. And please like, just share, oh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, maybe someone else that you know needs to hear this message as well. So maybe you have like a mutual friend that this is in this energy group. So please feel free to share this message. Thank you guys so much for watching.